Welcome back to a new episode of Aquaponics Geodome and it's you now April 2016 and spring is kicking in into the dome so let's take a little a small tour. A little bit tour of uh, April 2016, now we have this corner over here, that's special, but a lot of clones kicking in. Then we have a lot of uh, Bislok, called the Lodge, and Radish over there, they are exploding, and this sage is also exploding. Bigger leaves, nice growth, and uh, parsley, big city, and of course this huge plant that has been exploding in two weeks into this form. It's like BAM! <laughs> on here. <laughs> Over there, spring onions. We are also doing fine. Avocado, avocado, and it's making new leaves. So you survive the winter, it's gonna look nice. <laughs> Now we have some more flowers over here and we also have an exploding bottle full of mint This is abnormal <laughs> It's cut it away before it's just getting too much The germinating boxes have been uh, replanting the lettuce but as you can see it's already been eaten by snails they are also active they like the lettuce seems to be you have survived, so we shall see what the results shall be from them. Yeah, this is a, I think, the one, the suspect. Anyway, flowers already. So the hanging gardens will have enough. We still come. Uh, uh, they're coming more of them soon. They're on the way. But the microgreens, yeah, mice did eat all of them that were here <laughs> and the rest is the same this growth media is a little bit uh, too tight too small but I will let this I will let these microgreens grow up so we can make uh, produce our own seeds on the other hand this lettuce is already um, producing flowers it's too hot in here for the beginning of April it's like bam we need to produce flowers <laughs> it's just abnormal but they do fine uh, we have the flowers and the light for the extra growth. They are also exploding. I like it also a lot here. More flowers. <laughs> and we have uh, the fish. They're getting active, eating more, getting near more to the top level of the water, chilling in the, in the branch I have here as a little bit of toy or just like uh, something natural. Duckweed is also exploding in growth. You can feed them now uh, duckweed every day, so that's nice. Now we have the celery and the onions and the uh, garlic. They're also exploding in growth. It's nice. Carried over here, and we don't know if it's gonna juice the carrot or. But this one is also booming. And we have the other flowers here sprouting, developing in the adult plants. So, you know, flowers for the hanging gardens. And we have the strawberry in flower with flowers and new strawberries. So, maybe in two weeks we can have some nice sweet snacks. There are a lot of numbers of flowers. Also, here they're coming. I cut down the, the mint bed. So we can grow further, <laughs> and we have more flowers over here. They're also getting volume. The growth rate is expanding, which is abnormal. And for the project, yeah, also a nice small leaf. Like, oh. <laughs> and for the project, I have a discussion group uh, two days ago with uh, company owners and stuff like that. They want to have uh, biomass production and generate electricity from that. And the idea was to collect wood snips, uh, wood uh, chips, and then burn them in a the reactor and then produce power. Now that's, in my head, absolutely abnormal to think. It's really crazy. So I thought a little bit further, and uh, LG can produce biomass and electricity in the same uh, environment. But moss is also a sort of LG. And the thing about this, it's like a natural solar power, a solar panel. That will produce sugar that goes into the ground, bacteria eat the sugar and then release an electron and you can get an out an electron 
and collect this uh, circle of power, conductivity. So the good thing about aquaponics is that we can grow solar panels. And it seems to be they have a 7% efficiency and they work day and night even when the sun is not shining. Isn't that great? So let's do that and make one of these and test it out. I also replicated one also already, this is moss battery and this is it. We got a layer of moss here and let's focus a little bit better. Layer of moss, and then we got uh, carbon and then we got uh, those gel hydro water balls. I'll show you what you need. Like this. <coughs> These are those um, water pebbles you can put in your face and they uh, contain a lot of moisture and uh, moisturized moss for active uh, life and they also give uh, water for the reaction in this battery. Now you also need electrodes and you can make them from copper wire or steel wire whatsoever or titanium is better because they don't want to deteriorate. There's something later I need to buy titanium. And you need some fine mesh, steel or not rusting steel, galvanized, galvanized steel. I think that's the same. Yes. And you need moss. Uh, well, it's a self-repairing solar battery, so if once you have moss, it will repair itself and grow. Isn't that nice? And then you need carbon. Now I have uh, fish, so uh, active carbon is already on hand. You can also gain them from fire. And And then at last you need a container to get that. So the thing is we're gonna build a big battery and maybe run something on it, maybe a Bedini motor so we can charge batteries with it. With back in So something to find out. Let's get started. So to make one cell, we need a container, like this one. And let's start to make the first electrode. Pull the copper wire in and the mesh, bend it around a few times and then fold it around here so it doesn't get loose anymore. And then bend it again upwards so it can it's nice like this. And you can put this on the bottom of the container. And that's the first step. Now, I see those electrodes flying around the way. So, Put more carbon on top of it. 
and then you have like a little space left uh, to put some uh, mask on top. Piece of muscle here for the aquaponics. So, this is our first aquaponics bread or grown. So, uh, I can <laughs> I have to get used to this idea. Let's give it some more aesthetic with the moss. bacteria in there would be drowned in the water but after a month uh, the roots will grow through the medium and then uh, they will release uh, sugars and bacteria which is then give away electron and you can catch them by this connectivity and uh, by these wires so we have to wait a month before that it always shows a little bit of voltage but uh, So if you can hook them uh, all together, you're gonna get a lot of voltage. But after a month, we will see what our group shall be. It's battery. So, after. so yeah, we have our first uh, ungrown, homegrown solar panel biologically. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This is it. After the hard work, we finally got this mass battery. And let's see what the output is and if it is running already. So, let's check it out. I hooked it up. Now let's see what the power is. And the power is at the moment seven and a half volts. Yeah, isn't that nice? I don't know what the amperage is, but uh, it looks like zero eight. We needed to put a capacitor in it to store this energy or just uh, run it with a Bedini, something like that. But Bedini will run with 7.6 volts, so that's nice. Now hooked on the LED, the LED is lighting up. And now the roots will develop and everything is going on. The bacteria will be helped by the process of uh, decomposing stuff. So my expectation is that this LED will grow glow brighter in the coming days so. if you have any questions or comments and stuff like that put them behind and I'll see you next time and don't forget to like and subscribe us and an adventure that is never ending so until next if you like my videos about aquaponics you should also listen to the interviews of visionary aquaponics by Marie Boulatour with everything about aquaponics she wants to share with us with monthly new episodes from over the whole world so tune in and click on the link or just visit the website are you fascinated from the videos i make about the aquaponics geodome and other projects 
Maybe you would like to visit us. We are year-round open, located at the Gooienstraat Deventer in the Netherlands. You're always welcome to look at our systems or just visit our website. If you have any questions or comments, leave them behind. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time.